everyone welcome back again to the channel today we are diving into something extra super exciting we'll be turning our artwork into wearable fashion okay if you're new here my name is arrow and in today's video i'll walk you through the entire process of designing a custom art piece and sending it off to a printer to get it placed on a hoodie let's get started So first things first, whenever I'm designing something, especially for clothing, I think about three things. What I want it to express, how it will look on the fabric and how it's going to look on whoever wears it. So since this is going to be a hoodie, it's got to be bold enough to stand out but still wearable. So I'm thinking of doing something more of like a street style and of course with pops of colors here and there. So let's grab some inspiration from some of my recent sketches here and there and I'll show you how I take those ideas and translate them into something perfect for this apparel. So guys, if you don't know, I'm now on an Adobe pod. So I will be using Clip Studio Paint for my digital work. The key here while making your digital art is to consider how the design itself will fit on the hoodie. You know, keeping in mind the seams, the hood, and the size of the graphic itself. Let's jump into the design process. A quick tip. Always design at a high resolution, at least 300 dpi, so that when the final print comes out, it comes out crisp and clean. So this part is crucial because not every printer uses the same specification. So now when I'm preparing for print, I'm going to make sure that my file is in the right format. Usually PNG with a transparent background works the best. There are tons of printing services out there, but I'm going to be using bycafa.com because of their quality and their speedy service. Um, I've used them before in a previous video, which is linked here, which you can watch on the link now being shown on your screen. But one thing you should do, even if you don't use this particular printer, wherever you are, select a printer that offers you the type of fabric you want. You know, since you're dealing with hoodies, you should know what type of fabric that you're you're looking for okay and check reviews of course to see how people who have used the services before have you know experienced it and what feedback they gave so the last thing you want is to have your nice artwork fade after a few washes so you need to have a good look at that okay now we wait it usually takes a few days for the hoodies to be printed and shipped so once it arrives i'll show you how the design looks guys uh i'm usually very excited when i unbox things like this so please let's enjoy that part together Oh, 
Okay, if you're seeing me right now, it means that we've gone into the future and we've seen the hoodies and we, we've seen how the design came out. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed watching me go through this design and printing process, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss any future art projects. Have you ever designed your own clothing, by the way? Well, I recommend that you try it. It's always fun let me know as well in the comments below and guys thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one see ya